All right, so yeah, just take me through the process of, uh, of how I'm going to be getting onto this thing. Yeah, it's a normal bike. Uh, uh, you know, front brake, back brake, um, uh, you know, index shifting here. Uh, and really, that's it. I put it into uh, high mode for you, and because uh, you only go for a short time, so you might as well see what it can do. And then, other than that, it's exactly just a normal bike. It's a step through bike, which is easy for guests. Uh, so they can just step through, which makes it easier to get on and off. Um, sometimes certain guests struggle getting on and off of a, a proper mountain bike, so we just wanted to make it as possible as easy as we possibly could. And, uh, and other than that, it's really just that simple. It's a, it's a normal bike in every regard with a, a little bit of electric boost to, to make it an easy day for you. So you're ready to roll. It's uh, set up here. Seats lowered, seats adjustable, and uh, it's on. Extra battery, and you are ready to you're ready to roll. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Brian. And I'll just take this a short round around the the ice cream stand, and then we'll we'll see how it looks. You, you, you'll get it. Uh, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised if it's the first pedal stroke at how much uh, power. Okay. You'll, you'll I think I've done this while holding a camera before, so this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Give it a shot. <laughs> it's real. It's 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 really striking how how light it feels because when yeah. you when you're oh yeah when you're you when you're just feeling it it it, it obviously weighs quite a bit yeah. but yeah. when you uh, when you get this thing out and you're pedaling on it it feels you don't even feel it. No, that's the same with like when you're on the trail with the big bikes. Yeah. yeah. When you're going downhill, turn off the battery. Yeah. Because right? like when you. Are riding the technical trails. Mm -hmm. The uh, sometimes you don't want to go too fast, you know, into the you know the harder section of the trail. So if you keep it on a boost mode or a high mode, your your first pedal stroke it alerts you forward so fast that it'll put you where you don't want to go even faster. Jeez. So we tell people just yeah, turn off the, uh, the 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 engine when you're going downhill. You don't need it. It just acts like a bike, a really good high end bike. Um, to save it for the the climbs and, and, and for the flats, you know what I mean? Don't, uh, so it's just, uh, yeah, they're just mountain bikes that, that give you a little bit of added, added uh, bonus, you know what I mean? And uh, versus getting a truck shuttle or, uh, you know, so that's that benefit, you know, it's better for the environment because you ride right from your house versus, hey, we'll meet up and we'll throw all our bikes in, you know, Steve's truck and, and, and then, up. no, you can ride right from where you want to go and, and, uh, and still get two or three laps in, you know? and, and uh, um, and, and we're always, we tell people to, when, when you pass somebody and they're, they're, they're struggling, you know, we always, and, and you're laughing and telling a joke, you know, and, and uh, it could be, you know, we always are very cognizant of that fact. And, you know, when I, whenever I pass somebody, I, so I go, oh, cheater, you know, a cheater coming through, or we try to make light of the fact. And, and, uh, um, and, and, and then what we get a lot of times, you know, the first time I had a couple, you know, some, some guys come back. I said, uh, how was your day? And the guy said, well, it was an expensive day. And I thought, oh, he had 
he had wrecked the bike, right? And he was gonna, and he says, no, now I have to buy one. You know what I mean? <laughs> so now it just cost me 12 grand, because now I have to go buy one of these, these bikes. So, so uh, it's, uh, and I have lots of friends who don't wanna ride them, because they know once they do, they're, they're gonna have to get one, you know, because they're just, they're just that much fun. And, and it really is that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're tired, you might not go out for a ride, but if you have an e-bike, it just, it's, it seems like it's, you do go. So if you do have it, you use it way more than, than you think you would, which is the goal. You're on the trail more, you're outside more, you're, you're exercising more. That's just a, a good thing all the way around mm -hmm. versus your old bike collecting dust, you know, in, in the garage because it's not tuned properly or uh, you're just not, you don't have the time, you know, and, and uh, so you can sneak a ride in between basketball and, and hockey and, and, uh, and you're just, just that much better for it. So, you know. Is there anything else you'd like to point out before we're done? Uh, no, uh, we're, uh, me and Christian are, are uh, just super lucky and uh, very happy to, to, you know, Squamish has been a great place to us for over 20 years and we're uh, excited to have a, hopefully a normal summer. So. All right. Well, Brent, appreciate your time. Thank no you so much. Thank this is really fun.